So some of you have a bunch of emails and you want to automatically extract the first name, last name and domain and others you have the opposite problem. You have the first name, last name and domain and you want to create the email. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those things with and without formulas. So let's go. Let's start with the easiest, which is flash fill. And here you'll just give it an example. It will recognize the pattern and do the job for you. So in my case, I have John here. I press enter and then control E as a shortcut and you get everything. But life is not so good because Rob has a small R and Rana also. So what do we do in this case? We just come to the wrong one and we fix it. So Rob, press enter, you get Rana fixed. It understood the new pattern. Let's do the same for the family name. So Barbero, press enter. If I type M here for Marova, it will automatically suggest flash fill. So I just press enter and get the data. Finally, the domain. So that's Gmail, press enter. And there are another couple of ways to get flash fill. The first one is under home. So you go here, flash fill, or you can find it under data. It is here. Let's go to text split. Now text split is a formula that is available in Excel Office 365 version and above. If you don't have it, just follow with me because this is awesome. Now I have an example at the end of this lesson where I'm going to show you how to do it with regular formulas that you'll have in your Excel. This is not easy though. So I want to know in the comment section whether you made it and you had the right result with those formulas. For now, let's have fun with text split. So equal text split, open parenthesis. You have a lot of parameters. I'm not going to use all of them. I'm just going to use the first two for now. The other ones are optional. So first you have the text. That's my text comma column delimiter here i have a problem because i have the dot and the at if i just put the dot like this in double quotations and close parentheses you don't get the right result look here you have a gmail that's not good so what do we do in this case let me show you a trick that people don't know usually you just put them in curly brackets so this is a curly bracket we close it here then comma let's put the second one at double quotation press enter you get this dot com so you can also eliminate it here comma double quotation dot com press enter now the only problem you face is that you have two empty cells how to get rid of them you have ignore empty so comma row delimiter i want nothing so comma ignore empty cells press enter and now it works let me just drag it like this and here, instead of using this, you can just have the data in your Excel. So if I just remove it and select this data, press enter, that's the same result. Let's create some emails now. This is super easy. The first way is obviously flash fail. So how do we do it? John.Barbero, that's my example, at gmail.com. Press enter, control E, you are done less than 10 seconds now if you want to use a formula let me show you how to do it but i wouldn't use a formula to be honest so here equal we select john and then we have a dot so we put it in double quotations and we have barbero another and too many of them finally we have at gmail.com close double quotation and double click you get your result let's do the last one which is the challenging one so i need to get my first name here i'm going to use a left formula so left open parenthesis that's my text number of characters john is four characters so four close parenthesis you get john but this is hard coded so if you double click you have an explosion what do i do in this case i need to find the four with a formula so i can use a find formula so find open parenthesis my text is the dot in double quotations comma within text this is here comma start number i want to start at the beginning so one close parenthesis here you get five so what do we do to get four we just take it and subtract one so five minus one double click it works the last name is a bit more complicated 
So I want Barbero, which is after the dot and before the at. I can use a mid formula. So equal mid, open parenthesis. That's the text. The start number, I can use five and let's see what happens. Come. Then number of characters, Barbero, if you count, is seven characters. So I want seven characters, close parenthesis. You have a problem. It starts with the dot. So instead of starting at character five, I want character six. So plus one in this case. Now it works, but again, it's hard coded. So I need to find the seven, which will depend on the position of the at. So let's get the position of the at. So here it's another find formula. So find open parenthesis. I want to find the at within text. And the start number is also one close parenthesis. So here you have 13. Now, 13 minus 5 is 8. It's not 7, right? So what I can do is 13 minus 5 minus 1. I get my 7. Here you can just drag it and double click. You will get everything. Let's do the domain now. The domain is the same technique as the last name. It's between the at and the dot. So let's try it manually first. Equal mid, open parenthesis text start number i want to start at the at which is 13 and we saw from the previous example i have to add one to get the g now the number of characters is five in this case so let's put five and close parenthesis this is gmail now what do i do to get this five let's get the second dot the problem here is if i use the same formula as this one i'm gonna get the first dot so what's the trick let me show you so find the text is the same it's the dot within text start number is where we're going to change i want to start after this dot this dot is character five so i want to start at character six so five plus one close parenthesis press enter you get 19. now 19 minus 13 is six i want five so that's pretty simple 19 minus 13 minus 1. We double click in both of them and we get our results.